What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Datadash and today I want to spend a decent amount of time to talk to you all about how I've been recently rethinking and restructuring the content that I'm going to be producing for the Datadash channel. Now today I want to talk about what I've kind of worked out, uh, what's been on my mind as of recent and how I think uh, you know the channel would be best run, you know some great content that we could add towards the more traditional content such as the daily updates on the channel. But along that as well I want this video to be a very short summary of what's on my mind but also a way where you guys can engage and let me know what you want to see again it obviously makes sense that I should produce content that you all want to see, but also that has a mix of what I find to be valuable for you all. So I think that's what I'm hoping to get out of this. I hope that you guys can leave as much feedback. Again, try to be you know kind, but at the same time provide critical feedback. Give me some ideas. Let me know what you all want to see. You know, be honest with me. I want to hear as much as what you guys have to say. So with that being realized, let's go ahead and dive in throughout the video before we get to the feedback side of things and talk about what I've generally kind of planned out and thought about over the past month as I was traveling. So, obviously, <clears throat> excuse me. Obviously, I've been talking about doing daily updates on the channel. This has been probably a cornerstone uh, piece of content that you guys have obviously vocalized that you like, and I don't want to get rid of daily updates. They're going to continue to become a, a main part of the channel, and so long as I can continue to produce them, and so long there's something to talk about, I will produce the content on the channel. However, as you can see here, Monday through Sunday, I will attempt to do as many daily updates as possible, but I will be realistic with you all. Sometimes there's not things to talk about, and along with that as well, um, sometimes I'm a little bit burnt out on the status quo of content so I would love to do around maybe five to six daily updates a week and you know again if we find that people don't want to see that much on the channel maybe you just want to see three to four daily updates on days where there's key news to talk about let me know down in the comments down below we'd love to hear what you all think but I'm thinking at least it, uh, you know keeping on track with what it seems like most people want which is consistent daily updates I'll try to do about five to six a week depending on you know the importance of the news and then also how I'm feeling at the time Going on here towards secondary content, I don't want to just produce daily updates on the channel and also be regulated to doing one video a day. In fact, I'd like to cover some other content and maybe do a second video if I can find the time during the day. And there's a few different things here that I have um, as some ideas that we could fit into a weekly schedule. And then we also have some ideas as well that I'll talk about outside of a weekly schedule that are more uh, kind of rare videos that focus on bigger topics. So the first one here is something I call market lessons. Now we've done these a while back. Um, many people would associate back to uh, figuring out about the channel back through the training tip series or the uh, two or three episodes I did on market lessons. And this would be generally a broader topic series where basically we talk about you know lessons learned from previous market cycles. Uh, we talk about a variety of different markets, not just crypto, but traditional markets as well, which I've kind of gotten more comfortable with seeing as you guys have really liked the traditional market coverage in my daily updates, and I appreciate that. I would have never thought you guys would like to see that. Then again, I would have never, would never would have expected that you guys would want to watch me talk about any kind of market. So I'm very thankful about that. And I want to make sure that I provide a variety of different content. And I think this would be a great segue to kind of learn how markets work outside of all the noise and the hype and the FOMO and the fight in crypto. So I want to spend some time, you know, maybe to talk about cycles in precious metals markets, cycles uh, that we've seen in traditional markets, in crypto markets as well, and also just learning about human psychology, things like that, and learning key signs that we can apply to any market we look at. Going on here towards uh, Wednesday, I have a content a piece of content I like to call Whiteboard Wednesday, and this would be where I go towards a whiteboard which I bought and I <laughs> have yet to use for any content, where basically I would go about uh, answering visually a question that you all might have, and this might be in relation to markets or might be in relation to cryptocurrencies uh, or technology in this case, and I'd love to just specify, you know a clear, concise answer towards a, a commonly asked question. So basically how this would work is I would basically have uh, some type of topic that I talk about in the video that I felt would be valuable to people. And then in the comments down below, you guys would leave a topic to talk about and whatever gets the most likes, maybe in that case, would be the topic that I discuss. Or maybe we'll build some kind of voting mechanism outside of that, but I think that would be a pretty decent way to gauge it. Or at least maybe the second or third most uh, commonly asked question and answering that. So again, it could be a wide variety of things, but me explaining it in a nice visual sense, breaking it down into simple terms, it seems like you guys really like that. And uh, again, I want to talk more about tech on the channel outside of just markets and a lot of the excitement going on in the space. Going on towards Thursday, I want to do a series called Breaking Down the Tech. 
Now, breaking down the tech would be something that's purely focused on tech, cuts out markets, and focuses on emerging pieces of technology. This could be things, for example, like Lightning Network. This could be, for example, a topic that I want to talk about is the avalanche uh, avalanche consensus algorithm. Like things like this that are new, upcoming, that people haven't really talked about that I feel could be very, very valuable to understand for those of you out there who are tech junkies like myself and like to understand how this stuff works under the hood. Uh, so in that case, that's what breaking down the tech is. It would be nice, summarized, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, explaining this really interesting technology, but also having enough room to go in depth on it, as I like to do. Going on towards Friday, a standard live stream. This is just yours truly, sitting in front of a camera, uh, my normal webcam and mic, talking about markets, answering questions, having people on the Discord, you know, doing what we normally do on the live streams. So not too much detail there. I think Friday would be the best day for this, obviously, because of the fact that people work or go to school, and obviously on Friday. This is when people have free time, so I think that'd be best. Going on to Saturday, I think uh, I think this would be the best day to do our secondary type of live stream, and this is what's going to be officially under the label Dashcast, and this is where we're going to be having a featured guest on. So every week, I'm going to try to have a featured guest onto the Dashcast, and what we can do is go back and forth and talk. A very similar to what maybe some other YouTubers in the space have done or some other podcasters have done it there. It'd be generally along the lines of a podcast. So think of a Joe Rogan style podcast where there's just one other person on the line or maybe two or three participants and we have a general discussion about things. But in most cases, it's, I'd like to keep it one-on-one -on -one, and I think that's more reasonable as well because it's hard to get two or three people outside of myself onto a live stream. But there's been a variety of candidates that I've been meaning to talk to for a while. I've actually I've talked personally with like Doug Polk, Richard Hart, um, Nuggets News, uh, another Australian YouTuber in the space. Uh, you know, a variety of different people who want to come onto the channel, and I'm going to work towards getting in contact with them, setting up dates so we can have them on and have some really interesting discussions, and just get a different voice in the room outside of myself. So outside of that, you can obviously notice as well Tuesday and Sunday are left blank. I'm going to try to leave two or three days where I don't have to create a secondary piece of content, but that doesn't mean again that uh, you know we can't have something replace daily updates as well. Might, we might get one of these interesting pieces of content replacing uh, what would standardly be a daily update for that day. I just need some time though to attest to different obligations. I have different things that I do outside the channel, business-wise in crypto, but also in a variety of other you know, life-fulfilling obligations. I try not to live in crypto 24-7 as much as I love it, uh, but I end up getting sucked in 24-7, so maybe it's a hopeless cause. But anyways, that's it for generally the general weekly structure of the content. Let me know if you guys would want to see these moved around. Let me know what you think about these pieces of content. Let me know if you, you feel any of these are essential or not really necessary. And maybe some details as to what you'd like to see in these certain pieces of content, how you'd like them structured, etc. Going on though, I want to talk about some miscellaneous content here. So these are five different things, uh, you know, generally that I want to talk about. I obviously want to start covering projects again in this space. Now you all know I've been really critical about the ICO space, but there are some nice projects out there, and I don't want you all uh, to feel, you know, for those of you who like to see me talk about projects, uh, that I'm not you know, interested in the ICO space, there is some interesting gems that come up. So because of that, I definitely want to talk, uh, you know, at least one project a month that interests me in the space, and I will be extremely filtering on which one I cover. Again, it has to be one that uh, I not only would feel safe putting my own money into, but I really want to, you know, um, you know, cover projects that are expanding on new technology, bringing real value proposition and aren't hype based. And, you know, again, we might even do an interview tied in with the project review so we could get a really good amount of substance on the project. Going on here, uh, we're going to continue with the Crypto Uncovered series. Hopefully, a video every month uh, on Crypto Uncovered, or maybe every two months, where we dive into a very large topic. I'm still working on the OTC video. Obviously, I've been traveling, so I wasn't able to work on it. But I've gathered a lot of good information where we can put that into the new episode where we talk about OTC markets and ICOs. That'll be the next one, how institutions are getting involved in uh, to cryptocurrencies. We could also do interviews as well. I want to have people on, in the space that are uh, you know, some of the tech junkies out there like myself who are uh, much much more smarter than I am, who can explain things better, you know, leads on certain projects or movements within the cryptocurrency space, people who are relevant, and maybe even people outside the crypto space, gold bugs, people who are market analysts in traditional markets, etc. I think that would be really good as well. And along with that as well, debates. I want to have some people come on to have real intellectual debates. Um, 
So this might fit into the Dash cast, for example. Maybe during the week, Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash is trending or some kind of controversial topic where we can have a nice platform where people come on where we're not tossing ad hominems, we're not interrupting one another, and we're having a real steady debate that's fact-based. I want to have that on this channel. I want to really be the domain for that. I'd like to have that become a part of the Dash cast where people can come in during these conflicting times and actually hear people have a real debate. And I feel like, you know, the topic I listed earlier, Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash topics like this, there's too much noise because people batter it out over Twitter where you're basically regulated to a select a few amount of characters and again everyone seems to want to be kind of you know narcissistic and you know critical over one another and attack one another rather than having serious actual intellectual debates that are fact-based and having someone who can kind of moderate in the middle so hopefully I could do that in that sense if you guys would like to see it and last but not least I'd like to hear different ideas from you guys what do you guys think we should have on the channel again there's probably going to be hundreds of comments down below as there usually is on a video. So I will not be able to uh, do every piece that you guys recommend. So if you see something that you like uh, and you know you think that I won't be able to see your comment, give a thumbs up to someone else's comment You know if it's something along the lines of what you want to see. Again, guys, I want to hear from you all. Uh, I've been working uh, endlessly over the past year to build this channel up. We just reached the one-year anniversary a few weeks ago. And I want to keep it relevant. I want to keep it exciting for you guys because, again, that's why I'm here. Uh, you know, I, I love producing content for you all. And I like that you all want to see different types of content and, you know, hear me talk about a variety of different things. So with that being realized, thank you all so much for watching the video. It's short, sweet, and to the point. Hopefully you get the point across of what I'm looking at. And again, leave a comment down below if you guys have anything to say. But until the next video, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay tuned.